Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this. And first of all, a few things. I apologize if there's a crackling noise. I've tried fucking everything. I'm assuming that one of my USB ports is fingered. Um, feel free to use that word. Some great Australian slang for fucking shit. Um, so I apologize. I'll try and get rid of it in post, but I probably won't be bothered and forget about it. Um, look at me saying post. Um, and so this video is pretty much under the premise that I was waiting for the Nintendo Switch event to wow me to then want to learn more about the Nintendo Switch. And in short, it didn't. So I gave up and I want to be proved wrong. So if I'm wrong about everything I say and I've been proved wrong, tell me because I am interested in Nintendo, just not the Switch based on that presentation. So I'm not. So unless they've come out an hour ago and said, oh, yeah, we didn't mean X, Y and Z. I don't know that because I don't give a shit. So, based on what I saw at the presentation, these are my thoughts. I would like to be proved wrong. I want Nintendo to be good. I've noticed that anyone with any kind of criticisms against the Switch is being labelled as someone who wants Nintendo to fail. I don't want Nintendo to fail, even though they should because they're idiots. Um, but I don't. Because when Nintendo is good, the rest of the industry is good. So, that's my disclaimer. Now, let's get into this. The Nintendo Switch presentation was, how do I put this, fucking dreadful. Um, the camera, it looked like an episode of The Iron Chef. There's this weird haze. The camera was, was like bouncing up and down like it was on the back of a speedboat. The subtitles were pretty much non-existent. I was watching with Aaron. Aaron came over to watch it, who's a big Nintendo fan, as I'm sure some of you know. And he knew just based on like what the game... I had no fucking clue. Like If it was in Jap Japanese, I had no idea what the thing was. Um, Suda51, who is giving him money still? <sighs> Why would they waste all that time for that idiot to get on there and go, oh yeah, I've heard making games is easy on the Switch. Here is a photo of a game for the Switch I might be making. Now we'll switch it back over. Fuck! God! Um... I don't know why it just wasn't scripted and they gave the, 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 um... The translators a script because they were behind and shitty the whole time. Uh, but I do. I understand it must be hard for someone like Nintendo and Sony also fall under this category, I suppose, where they've got a massive Japanese market and a massive or bit large um, Western market So because the cultural differences, I get it. Whereas Microsoft don't give a fuck. It's America, it's America, it's America because they sell like one Xbox console every four years in Japan and that's because Phil Spencer must go over there and start buying them. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I will give a little bit of leniency, but just, it was just shit. I don't think they went into enough detail about the actual console, like how it works, what's in the, what's in the box. Um, what, you know, how far you can, how does it work when you take it outside or versus inside, you know, what's the resolution? Because a lot of people lose their shit about resolution. I don't really care, but it's just interesting to know. I, apparently I read Zelda only runs at 900, um, which is 3p better than most Xbox One games. Um, so I, I, I just feel like they didn't go into enough detail about the actual console. Um, cause I, it's just, I'm curious, like where, how does the USB work? How, do, how much memory is on there? How does the network work, which they are going to charge you money for? Oh, God almighty. So I have got no issue with paying for a network. I've always been an Xbox Live subscriber because for most of that time, the Xbox Live was the best. Hands down. I mean, you could argue... I'm talking console. We're not talking Steam or any of that shit. I'm talking on console. It's way better than PlayStation Network. Then PlayStation Network vastly improved and changed the game with giving away free shit. Then Microsoft was like, well, fuck, we better compete. So now they're kind of equal. I suppose, depending on where you live, you would give the edge to one based on the servers or whatever, or whatever you like personally. Um, I think they're both equal, to be honest. Um, but Nintendo is never known for their fucking online, so it's a bit worrying that without any fucking mention of what's on there, they've decided to charge you for it, but you get, like, until American... As he said fall, so I'm assuming that would be our spring... I don't know for how when fall is. I'm assuming that is after summer in America, which is after June? Anyway, whenever that is. I don't know. Um... So yeah, that's a bit worrying. And apparently you get one game download that's a previous Nintendo game, like an old game, for a month. And then it gets rid of it. So I don't know if that's worth paying for. So it's up to you. Prove me wrong.
So yeah, I don't feel like they went into enough detail about those particular things. They went into way too much detail about this fucking controller that looks just ugly. Oh, God. I'm talking about like the pad, not the screen thingy. Because I don't know much about the screen thingy because they didn't explain much of it. Um, It looks so fucking uncomfortable. It looked tiny in their small Japanese hands. Can you imagine in our big Western mitts what that's... It's going it, to... I don't know. But it's got rumble. And it had to have had the worst explanation of how Rumble works with this Ice Cube business. And if you haven't watched it, I recommend just going back and looking at how he explains Rumble. It literally holds it and goes, one Ice Cube, two Ice Cube, three Ice Cube. And waste all that time instead of going, yeah, we've got pretty good Rumble. Fucking, I, oh, that was puzzling. And it's got a camera sensor thingy in it. And it's got all this other shit in it, which I it just... Oh. I don't know. So that's probably why the console's so damn expensive. I'm assuming most of the money is in that fucking controller. Uh, it's got a gyro and all that fun stuff. Um, it look, makes the Sony control look like a little bitch in terms of all the gimmicks it's got in it. But, hey, if it works well and it's fun to play, Kieran, you're an idiot. Um, yeah, I, uh, it's just it looks very uncomfortable. I mean, of course, you can play with the Pro Controller, which I'm assuming most of you will be doing because that makes just more sense. Um or what I would be doing if I had it, but they haven't won me over, and they probably won't. Um, but it's just, I don't know, it just seems a bit dumb. But it's a capacitive screen, so they've learned something, I suppose. Um, but I also think it's too expensive. I mean, it's $479 here, I think, um, and two ninety nine in the middle of a console, uh, arguably in the middle of a console generation, where you can buy both of the other... More power... Oh, hang on. No, I'm assuming they would be more powerful. Uh, assumption. Assuming that the PlayStation and the Xbox are more powerful than the Switch, you'd be paying less for those. Anyway, I'd, I don't get it. Um. So, yeah. I think it's a bit expensive, especially here, because that doesn't even include a fucking game. So if you buy a game, which Nintendo games, at least in Australia, are always fucking full price. Always full price. You're looking at five, six hundred dollars, and it's not like you know we're past that. I think, um, although I, uh, I just this whole console, the the Xbox and the PlayStation. I understand how that appeals to people. So the Switch and the way I was going into this, and people talk shit when I say this, but I truly mean it. I think Nintendo have to go for people like me and some of you, that we've got the Xbox One, we've got the PlayStation Four, we're hardcore gamers, but we do like Nintendo first party. But I see no reason to invest all that money in in either gimmicks or a system with no games. The gimmicks being the Wii and um, no games being the Wii U. Um, do you understand? So I feel like they have to target people like me. Because the casual market that bought the Wii are gone. That's their once in a blue moon, the casuals bought a console. And I would argue that a lot of them moved to the PlayStation 4. Because uh, I know a lot of people, a lot of, like Xbox 360 had a lot, a massive market. The PlayStation did catch up in the end though, but when they shot themselves in the foot with that horrible fucking Xbox One thing, everyone went to PlayStation 4. So I think the ones that are, were into gaming have already got something. So, you know, and not only that, but all those grandmothers and that, they're probably dead. So move on. And you've got the hardcore Nintendo fans that fucking started pre-ordering the shit for a base holder price of $999 without knowing fucking anything. That is worrying, although I kind of understand that kind of mentality because Mass Effect looks absolute shit, but I'm a massive Mass Effect fan and I will have to play it day one. Um, but I don't think I would plop down a pre-order for a console I've got no idea about. But hey, if that's your prerogative, that's your prerogative. So you've they've got the hardcore market. They've got them. Um masochists, I'm assuming you would have to be. But I don't think they've done enough to persuade people like me. That is my cat. I will be back. So yeah, I I just don't understand who this is for, besides the hardcore market. Um, because they've got such a massive thing with their 3DS or DS that it's kind of going to cannibalize. Because I don't understand. Is it a home console that you can take with you? Is it a portable console that you can play on the TV? Is it 50-50? Is it 80-20? I don't, I don't get it. I Because if it was portable, you would assume that that would start to cannibalize its 3DS sales, and a lot of people go, no, well, they're two different things. But if you think about it, the new Pokemon barely fucking runs sometimes. So clearly the 3DS needs to get a bit more beefy 
but why when the Switch is there? And they've said, you know, countless times with the GameCube and the Wii, blah, 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 oh, it's going to be part of the Nintendo family, and then they fuck it off anyway. So I don't know where I stand on on that, but it'll be interesting to see if they do fuck off the DS. I don't think they will. I think the DS is just so big, but then arguably you can say it's so big and it's at the end of its lifetime, which is, you know, a fair assumption as well. But I just, I don't understand who it is targeted, who it's for, this thing. Like I said, I always just, I just wanted a little box with a nice Nintendo controller that plays Mario and other first party Nintendo games. I don't, like, no, no matter what people say, who the fuck is going to play Skyrim on a Switch? Who the fuck played Mass Effect 3 on the Wii U? No one. We've already got, especially again, arguably, mid console generation. We've already got an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4 that could probably play these games a lot better and with a better controller because you're used to it and you've got your friends on there and that you've got achievements or a tro- or trophies or whatever the fuck. Or you pay for Xbox Live membership or you pay for Sony and you can't afford both or three of them. So I don't... It's just, it's just weird. I can't... So hopefully you can explain it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, you know, there's a great big market for it that I'm just overlooking. But at the moment, I, I can't see it. I don't... It's just... It's just weird. I also think there's a lack of games at launch. I mean, you've got Zelda, which will sell a, a fucking... Don't get me wrong, will sell a console. It does look fantastic. I would really like to play it. And I will on my Wii U. So I don't... It's. I don't know. And I, the portableness, I don't... Like, I'm not a portable gamer. Maybe because I drive. I've noticed a lot of Nintendo fans don't drive cars. More power to you. Um, but, yeah. And if I do, if I go on the train or a plane, I'll take my tablet. Because it's a multi-use... When I get to the hotel or whatever, I can start watching porn on the free Wi-Fi. Can I do that on the Switch? I don't know. So I would rather take my tablet, which is a unitasker in theory, than the switch that might be a a um a um the no, hang on unitasker. I think I fucked that up. A tablet has multiple uses, where the Nintendo Switch might only have one use. That sounds better. A sw- unitasker. Actually, I think unitasker means it only has one use. I don't know. Yes, I don't speak Latin. Um. So yeah, and and. I can play fucking Roller Coaster Tycoon on it, which is my game of the year. I don't give a fuck. Um, so yeah, I just it doesn't appeal to me at the moment. Like the Mario game looks fantastic, but I don't want to have to sink five hundred dollars into a fucking console to play it. So tell me, please educate me. Say that I'm wrong. Say it's going to be the best thing ever, because um, I want it to be good. I want Nintendo to be good again after that fucking shite Wii U. Um, so let me know what your thoughts. Let me know if you're getting it or you're not getting it or why I should get it or why you should get it or why anyone should get it or if I'm wrong or you're right, blah, 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 blah. Until next time, rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to switch it on over to whatever the next recommended video is. That was the worst. That was just shit, that thing. I'm going to switch it over. Oh, you said...